Hey guys, welcome back to another Quick Inform video. In today's video, we're talking about something that kind of came out a couple days ago, but I just, uh, you know, been a little busy with life and just picked up my new truck. So I've been playing with that for last couple days. So last two days, probably. I just got it yesterday. Um, <laughs> but in today's video, we're talking about Verizon's phone contracts are being pushed to three years, guys. So yeah, 36 months. Uh, if you guys don't know, like I said, this channel is mainly prepaid, but you know, prepaid, you buy the phone outright and it's yours. Um, with uh, with you know phones being super expensive these days, you know carriers do finance phones uh, for 24 months, 30 months, and now it looks like it's 36 months on Verizon. So yeah, guys. So when uh, like I was saying, uh, you know, if the phone's a thousand dollars, you would divide that by 24 months. Of course, that'd be a higher payment than if you did 30 months, uh, just because you have a longer time to make those payments. So the installment of that phone would be a lot less it could go you know let's just say i'm giving random numbers so it's 30 bucks a month it could drop it down to i don't know 20 24 month 24 dollars a month or something like that you know like i said i'm just making that up but um now it looks like verizon the big red uh, giant is pushing it to 36 months or three years guys which is a long time um let's say we'll start reading the article in a little bit but i'll tell you right now you know it's it's three years it's definitely a long time to be financing a phone but that also does help, um, you know, lower the phone payment because you have a longer time to make the payments on the phone. And like I said, a lot of people want, you know, the newest iPhone and Galaxies, you know, ranging from a thousand, well, about eight hundred thirty all the way to you know thirteen hundred plus dollars. You know, so, um, but yeah, let's get into it. So it says, if you're, if you're looking uh, to buy a new phone at Verizon, which I believe, uh, like I said, Verizon used to do only twenty four months, and then AT and T pushed it to thirty. But it says, if you're looking to buy a new phone at Verizon, you now only have two options. Buy the device outright or pay monthly installments for three years. So it looks like they're not even going to give you the option to do 24 or 30 months. It says, as reported by Droid Life, that's where I first read this. Um, it says, Verizon appears to have gotten rid of the 24-month and 30-month contract for all devices, including phones, hotspots, and smartphones. Wow. So all the devices that they sell that you can put on an installment or monthly payment has to go for a 36 month uh term uh wow so like i said yep 36 months it says verizon uh, payment program uh faq page explains that there isn't any interest attached to 36 months which i don't know why they have to say that no uh no carrier will charge you interest on it um now like i said it's for 36 months which does lower the payment on it especially with verizon being the most expensive says you can choose to pay off the phone in full whenever you want, which is nice. No contract, which all the other carriers do as well. Um, it says uh, what you can't do, however, is pay more than your set monthly installment. So unless you can pay off the entire device, you're locked into three years. Wow. Also says, however, uh, so, however, um, is pay more what you can do however is pay more than your set monthly installment okay it says uh you're locked into the three-year plan if you agree to a 20 if you've agreed to a 24 month or 30 month plan before february 3rd 2022 verizon says you won't be affected by this change so basically if you didn't get your phone by the third of uh february of this year you know, now it's the 6th of February, so it, everybody's 36 months. But if you got your phone, let's say, on on January 1st, then you you can still keep your 24-month or 30-month installment. But as of right now, the making of this video, you cannot do anything but 36-month payments or pay off the phone. It says, as phones get more expensive with more than a few crosses into $1,000 territory, you know, Samsung and, and iPhone, it's no, it's, uh, it's no longer uncommon for us to want to hold onto our smartphones for several years. But, you know, there's a lot of people that like to switch up. Um, it says plus numbers. It says plus a number of phone manufacturers still roll out updates several years after the phone's release. Killing the urge to upgrade, you know, except for, uh, I don't know, <laughs> Apple and them slowing stuff down. Uh, like I said, a uh, bit of recap. Samsung phones get security updates for... For four additional years, phone per iPhones or Apple provides updates on devices for five to seven years, and Google offers updates on the Pixel Six and Six Pro for five years. Whoa, so pretty cool. Um, it says that said, it's unclear what Excel Verizon shifted towards longer contracts. 
I think, like I said, it, it helps attract more customers, and I'll tell you why. Because if that's everybody knows that Verizon's uh, phone uh, bills are really high because, like I said, they used to do only 24 months versus even if you got a $70 plan with Verizon versus $70 plan with AT&T, and AT&T could push for 30 months, and you can do for 24 months, of course, it's going to be longer or more expensive on uh, Verizon. So they're pushing into 36 months. I think that's a smart move for Verizon. For customers, though, I'll tell you this much, guys. Yeah, it's nice to have a lower bill, but in two years, you know, you're trying to come in, you're thinking, wow, I paid off this phone, and then, you know, the, the associate tells you, no, you still owe $300 or $400 on this phone. You're like, well, dang, I've been paying it for, you know, two years. It's like, well, you got another year to go, you know what I mean? Uh, it's set for three years. At that point, you can pay the phone off or just keep making installments, you know, so... But definitely three years is a long, long time. Some carriers will do 30 months. I think that's kind of the sweet spot. But 36 months is kind of nice to have uh, just to lower your phone payment. Um, it says, but it seems like it's a little late to the game. AT&T has already gotten on board with this idea as a company started offering just three-year contracts last year. So AT&T, like I said, you know, they already pushed it to three-year contracts, um, you know. And while eight and T-Mobile started experimenting with idea of 36 month plans in 2018, I'm telling you, man, T-Mobile's definitely ahead of the cell phone uh, gang. I know they're a little bit smaller than AT&T and Verizon, but man, they're pretty smart. Um, it says in 2018, it has since gone back to offering only 24 or 30 month plans. So it looks like T-Mobile has uh, done away with 36 month installment maybe they saw that it didn't work out they they already tried it out and it didn't work out and now they're only doing 24 or 30 month installments so so yeah what do you guys think about this guys i i think personally like i said it's good for the consumer well there's a good and bad the good is the the phone payment is going to be a lot less uh and uh the other thing is, like I said, for Verizon, it's going to try to keep the customer a little longer. That's another thing I think they're trying to do is keep customers longer with them because usually a lot of people, if they pay off their phone in two years, they'll just switch to another carrier. With this, you're kind of locking them in for three years, um, so an additional year, which is, you know, it's a long time for a lot of people. So, But let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, is this something you would do? Uh, do you already do this on a postpaid plan with your other carrier? Like, let's say you have AT&T or something like that. Or are you strictly prepaid like a lot of uh, people are? You know, like I said, with prepaid, if you have the money, you can buy the phone outright. But then your monthly installment is a lot lower. Um, so, yeah. That's uh, some cool things. But uh, a lot more videos coming your way, guys. I'm just waiting for a couple events to pop up so we can uh, watch them together. And why not? So... Thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, and subscribe, like I said. And my son's calling, so I'm going to have to go help the little guy out uh, with uh, something that he needs. So take care, guys, and nice talking to you. Thank you.